Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Monday. Today, what we're going to be talking about, and again, in our water parameters playlist, we're going to be uh, looking at, we've looked at pH, we've looked at ammonia, and now we're going to be looking at nitrites. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I've never tested for nitrites in my life. I didn't know what a nitrite was until yesterday, but I did a little research on it, and I always thought nitrites and nitrates were like synonymous and they kind of went together. But I found out there's two separate entities. One is nitrite and one is nitrate. So today we're gonna to be talking about nitrites in this water parameter segment of our YouTube channel for fish, freshwater fish. So what are nitrites? Let's find out what they are. And I've never tested them for them before and we're gonna be testing them live. First time I've never, ever, ever tested nitrites in my life. So that is the question of the day. What are nitrites? This you will be able to find on my social media uh, last Friday, this past Friday. Um, and so I'm taking snippets from this. It is basically dissolved nitrogen and it's really the waste that these fish produce. And it's not just the waste that they produce, but the waste that the plants produce, uh, rotting leaves, uh, d dissolving uh, fish matter. So it all starts with waste for nitrites. And just like ammonia, because it is a byproduct of ammonia, the acceptable level for nitrites is zero. And the last thing on this one is because the nitrites, the more nitrites in the water, the less oxygen that goes into the fish's blood and therefore they could start to suffocate. So nitrites are no good in your freshwater aquarium. So what if you find levels, high levels of nitrites. This is part two that you'll see on the last Friday. What do you, what can you do? Number one, you can definitely do a water change, 30 to 50%. Don't get crazy. I know it's like, oh, take out everything. No, take out 30 to 50% because there's a lot of beneficial bacteria still in the water. So don't take out too much water. Like I said, I'm not carrying on to every single slide, but this is an important thing. Uh, the water conditioner, you have to use water conditioner for your tap water. We're gonna test tap water again, but tap water is filled with chemicals for your eating, drinking, bathing, and so that's why really important to use your tap water in order to reduce nitrites in your aquarium. And as I have mentioned before, um, I'm a big believer in feed, less is more. You don't want to overfeed your fish. I know people tend to feed their fish two, three times a day, once a day. I feed my fish twice a week, Wednesday, and at one point on the weekend. So do not overfeed. That reduces nitrites. And do not overstock. I am guilty of overstocking, I admit. Uh, but that I, I think is compensated by good filtration and by less feeding. So, but those are two good rules of thumbs to reduce your nitrites and therefore reduce the possibility of your fish dying. Uh, I know I'm showing my age here, but if you've ever seen the movie Groundhog Day uh, with Bill Murray for many, many, many years ago, he used to have this this whole scenario where he would go seem to go through the day over and over and over again. And this is really, in essence, what we're doing here. We did it with pH. We test, we test the lake water, tap water, aquarium water. Same thing we did with the ammonia. And now we're going to do the same thing with nitrite. So it's sort of a little Groundhog Day-ish. And um, nitrates will eventually do that. And we're gonna do it also with water temperature. And uh, we'll probably revisit this water parameters as, uh, as of hopefully the months and years go on to see how well we are doing and keeping up with our water parameters. Hey, I am back outside by the famous learning tool, also known as the lake. Uh, today is May 24th, it's a Monday, uh, 2021. Uh, what's kind of interesting, you see how bright the sun is. Uh, we should be in the rainy season, but uh, the rainy season has uh, not arrived yet. Uh, it may arrive uh, next week, but uh, who knows? And I know that definitely affects things because, uh, as the birds call me out saying to shut up, but, <laughs> but that's okay. And my dog too. Uh, but I think it's important that you realize that sometimes uh, I, I, conditions are not ideal. Uh, and I know right now that the, uh, you know, it should be raining and it should... And that may affect the whole nitrite situation with the lake. So uh, I know it sounds weird, but sometimes you really, you really have to take into account what is around you. Here is the, the world famous lake again. Those are the little ducks or who are calling me out as you hear them now. Uh, it, it is their turf. So I totally get them calling me out. Uh, and I know they have little babies there. And I know I have little, little fish in the, in the lake that's starting to grow. 
and you see the algae really cooking. Remember, again, I was talking about the uh, UV sterilizer. So uh, everything is really uh, cooking extra, extra because uh, it's been really dry, and which is really, really unusual for this time of year. Now we are back here. I'm gonna try my hand at, uh, at turning this on. That is my lovely uh, tap water once again uh, because uh, this is what I use. I've been using it for the last six years. That is the water I use, and that is the water we're going to test and see what the nitrites look like uh, in this tap water. As I well, let me uh, pause this before I uh, kill myself. Here. I think this is a really good shot of the sun. Um, it's it's been cooking. It's strangely enough, it's not even been really hot. It was hot a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. I think the temperature right now is about 82, which is really unusual for this time of year. It should be about 10 degrees warmer. Let's uh, take a look at my aquarium again that we're gonna take the water from. Let's check it out. Here's that tank again that I was talking about. Uh, like I said, hopefully uh, this tank, which I think is my, my best tank, uh, will yield good results. I mean, my other tanks are great. But this is the, the superlative tank. The other ones are fantastic. This one is uh, solid gold. Uh, let's see how the how we do with our nitrites in this tank. Uh, like I said, I've never tested nitrites in my life. So this will be a good test. All right, here we are again with the uh, famous Solo Cups uh, Aquarium. You can tell my, my pen is starting to die out. Aquarium. I had to write tap water. I get to my handwriting is fantastic because I know I keep messing it up. So it, it is tap water and there's lake water. And again, my fresh water test kit. Remember to read the directions. And for people who are crazy like me who read the directions, but are like, wow, what did it say? It says right here, nitrite, add five drops. At the risk of sounding old, uh, I'm a big believer of following directions. I know people are like, well, you just throw in some drops and, you know, you figure it out and see what happens. No, follow the directions. See what it says. Those are the connections I'm talking about as I scratch my nose one more time. Uh, because I like the steam of, of connections that uh, I should have. My nickname is Connections of uh, Louis D. Fresher. Um, the connection of following directions, whether it be college related, fish related, um, you know, do things right. Um, I, I know that, that we, we tend to kind of veer off course and whatever else, but in doing things right, you get a better accurate picture of your college search. And in this case, your, your quality of the, of the water, of the fish. So let's uh, check it out. All right, we are now testing the lake water. And according to my little handy dandy thing here, uh, there are no nitrites at all in the lake. It is uh, free of nitrites. And remember, I, I, the, I, I'm the ignorant one. I thought nitrates and nitrites were the same, but they're not. So the nitrites, it lake is free of nitrites. And that explains why uh, there are so many fish living in there. Um, they really are. So I, I'm, I'm very impressed. No nitrites in the lake. Let's go on to the tap water and see what we got. Continuing with our nitrite testing, uh, the tap water indeed has no nitrites. It is, I'm just checking in case my eyesight is bad. Nope, the nitrites are indeed uh, none. There are no nitrites in the tap water. So uh, that's good. Of course, Louis D. Fresh now is nervous because uh, I'm going to test the aquarium water. Why should there be like a million nitrates and nitrites in there? Let's check it out. Drum roll, please. Drums! My aquarium water has passed the uh, nitrite test. There are no nitrites in my water, my aquarium water. Thank you. And uh, that's amazing. The pH was good. The ammonia, there was none, and nitrites, there are no nitrites. Thankfully, there are no nitrites because I was worried. Uh, so there you go. There goes a uh, good aquarium maintenance. And uh, I hope you learned something because I learned something. I never tested for nitrites in my life. This is Louis D. Fresh. Make it a great day.